By the end of this video, you will be able to duplicate a track within the music software FL Studio. Let's get started. So I have FL Studio open here. So this will work with both sound files, something like samples, as well as MIDI files. So I have both here, and I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste each of these. So the easiest way to copy and paste a track is to go ahead and make sure you have the selector icon here. And so I've selected that, and now I can select what I would like to copy and paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select the audio file first. So this is a sample. When, once you have that selected, then you can press Control C on your keyboard, and then press Control V. So I was able to copy and paste that sound file that I had selected. Now I need to be able to move that sound file. So in order to move, you can either choose the paint or the draw. So either one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and click the draw button. And once I have that, now I can take that second file and use it to move it. Now, one thing I'll show you is if you, if I zoom in a little bit here, you'll notice that there is a gap in between these two files. So in order to get that to snap into place, I need to make sure I change a setting here. So up here, for the uh, main snap method, instead of having line selected, you wanna go ahead and click something like step. That will most likely be able to work. And so now when I click the draw icon and move this around, you'll see I can snap it right into place right next to that first one. The same is true for copy and pasting a MIDI file. So I have a MIDI file on the top here. This is a pattern and for a drum beat. And so what I'm gonna do is select that one. Again, you wanna make sure that you have the right tool selected. So right now I have draw selected, so I can't select that yet. So I'm gonna go up to the selector tool and go ahead and select that portion. And then I'm gonna go ahead, if you want, you can do control C or you can just go ahead up to here, edit and go copy. And then you can place it where you would like to have it pasted. So let's say I want right here. And then I can go up to edit, paste, and so I was able to paste that and I got the draw tool selected. So now I can snap it where I would like it to snap. And again, the same thing is true for that one. There you go. Make sure you have it up on to snap onto step. You can also copy and paste multiple information at once. So multiple tracks. So in order to do that, you want to have the select icon selected and then go to the very top and you can go see how I can select from the beginning all the way to measure seven or eight here. And so I have all that selected. And again, you do the same thing, control C, and then you can do control B. And so now that's selected all of that information for all of the tracks. And again, you would just, to move it, you would do the same pattern we did before. Uh, to delete anything, you would just go ahead and right click on the patterns you want to delete. So I wanna delete these ones. Another way to copy and paste track information is to go ahead and have it selected again. And just press control B as in boy. And so that snaps it to the very last track that you have. Again, to delete, make sure if when you do the right click that you have draw selected for right click. You will want to make sure that you listen to what you have copy and pasted. So in order to play, you can just hit the play button here and then it will play. And so you can hear exactly if everything is lining up the way you want it to. So you now know how to easily copy and paste tracks within FL Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other FL Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.